All right. Um, most appropriate next step of management of this patient's condition. Um, sounds like maybe we have uh, like respiratory stuff. So 35 year old man presents the ED acute onset of left-sided chest pain and shortness of breath following a bar fight. He is tachypnic with a respiratory rate of 30 breaths per minute. His oxygen saturation is 90%. Um, decreased breath sounds and hyper resonance to percussion on the left side of his chest. Um, chest x-ray shows a small pneumothorax on the left side. Um, which of the following, or what most appropriate next step um, in management? So, um, basically, we need to get him breathing again if he's at 90% um, oxygen saturation. So, um, I think, like, most appropriate next step in management. I would probably say needle decompression. Um, I think getting him the oxygen is our, well, yeah, I think, yeah, that's what I would go with. So actually, yeah, uh, always respiratory stuff. I mean, we get these kind of questions all the time. Um, also on my boards, ENT boards, uh -huh. um, just in general, when you're dealing with breathing and respiratory stuff, always a good place to start is supplemental oxygen. Okay. okay. Um, that's a tricky thing with next steps in management because you know in, in theory all of these could be good right yeah. but the easiest thing you can do in a clinical setting is just to kind of pop on some oxygen right so if they're having respiratory distress then the first thing you want to do is you know give them some oxygen and then after that right then you can kind of um start thinking about okay do you need you know, do you need needle decompression? Do you need a thoracotomy? Do you need a chest tube, right? All those things, but definitely for sure you want to start with oxygen. And also on top of that, right, the chest x-ray shows a small pneumothorax, right? And so, um, you know, larger ones with, you know, deviation of the trachea and patients desatting, like, you know, patients like passed out comatose because they're not getting oxygen. Then you want to be thinking about like, okay, maybe I do need to do like a needle decompression or something like that but okay. in this can in this scenario an easy answer is patient's still coherent he's 90 percent he's to kip nick right so easiest thing is you know to put him on a you know o2 mask so just start there yeah okay that makes sense 